Hey everybody, this is Dave Blair, and I'm covering the Simpit series on SRS and a set of Corsa. And this is week four, race two. This is Friday night's race, and we are at Road Atlanta. Now this race did not get off to a very smooth start, and we had quite a few problems getting going here in the early stages. So we'll try to highlight some of the uh, incidents and accidents and um, yeah we'll just take a look at it but here we go okay we're gonna start out on board with Rick Hyde here and he's gonna get tapped by Jared Glatzer coming across so not a very good start right from the get-go for him Okay, now we're on board with George Vidal, and this is right at the beginning here. He has a front row seat to the uh, collision that's going to happen in front of him between John Cannon and Heiko Schurman. They're both going to tap each other. Yeah, they're just going to have a collision here. We're on board with Heiko Schurman at this point, and he's going to get the worst of it. Now, he started in pole position, and as you can see here, by getting spun out in that first corner, he's gonna get knocked all the way back to last. Okay, we're gonna take another look at it. Now we're on board with Alan Ramsbottom and we're further to the back so you can see all the carnage up here. You know, um, not only the front two, but it was a whole bunch of people got involved here. Joa Antonio, Stan Donnett. Um, I see Ricardo Mascarenas off to the left there with John Cannon. Just a big pile up. And then one more look at it from further back. Not a very good start. Okay, so now we're on board with Doug Hawley and you can see him getting through this collision right here. And then he's gonna have a problem here with Dan Klar, little bump, he gets loose. And he has no choice but to wait until it's safe to come back out. And now he's almost back to last. Okay, now we're on board with Sean Sebrin, that's ProSim TNT on YouTube. You can watch his uh, race from his point of view on his channel. And he loves to be the star of the show here. But he's going to go a little wide on this corner and catch those speed bumps there. And who's that? Dave Blair getting by. I think this is like a repeat of the Thursday night race. And there's Ricardo Mascarenas working his way back up to the front again. So now we're on board with Dan Klar, and just like Sean Sebrin had trouble with this corner right there, Dan Klar is going to go a little wide. That, that corner is a tricky corner, and we'll revisit it with some other people too. Okay, now we're on board with uh, Jimmy Cabrera, and he started in the second position, and he's going to try and make this pass here, but he's coming in too fast to make that corner. So he just takes a shortcut. Now, I don't see how you can cut the track like that and not get a slowdown penalty, but it didn't seem to trigger it for him. Okay, so now we're going to look at that again. We're on board with George Vidal, and Jimmy Cabrera is going to come flying through here, cut the track, and um, George Vidal was in first, so now uh, Jimmy is in first. And George Vidal has been pushed back to second. And here's Andreas coming up. He's going to make the pass. And now George Vidal has been pushed back to third. Again, I don't see why he didn't get a slowdown penalty for cutting the track like that. But there you go. So now we're on board with Alan Ramsbottom. And he's going to do the same thing Jimmy did here. He's going to swerve to avoid hitting those two guys, but he's going to take a little shortcut. 
again, doesn't look like he got a short, uh, penalty for that either. Okay, now we're on board with John Cannon again. And he started in second, but he's uh, fallen back a little bit here. He's going to get into it with Tobias Richter. And he's going to quit out. Okay, now we're on board with Tobias Richter. We're going to take another look at that. Yep, just gets tapped. Has a bad spin. Nice recovery, though. Okay, now we're on board with Vernon Knutson, and he's going to drift this corner right here. Nice recovery, but he was slowed down enough that um, Dan Clark and uh, Alan Ramsbottom are going to get up and try to get past him, and Alan's going to tap him off here. Now, Vernon was running in ninth, and because he got tapped off there, he got knocked all the way back to 17th. And you can see Heiko Schurman there is working his way up. Okay, now we're on board with Alan Ramsbottom, and we're going to take another look at this. You can see Dan Clark and Vernon, they're kind of squeezing him there. And then I think, I don't know, it's hard to tell. He should have known Vernon was still there, but it's hard to tell. From that view, he may not have seen him. Looking at it one more time, we're on board with Alan Ramsbottom here. Yeah. It's a tough call. That's why that you should have that Helicorsa app. It at least gives you a radar so you know who's around you. Okay, now we're on board with uh, Jimmy Cabrera. Again, I'm not sure I'm saying his last name right. Cabrera? Jimmy Cabrera. Anyway, he's going to take an interesting line here. He's going to go a little wide here. And he's just going to continue off. Hit some speed bumps, make a little jump, cut this part of the track here, and again, no slowdown penalty. So he's currently running in second right here. This is some good close racing. George Vidal is going to squeeze through. And that's going to put George Vidal in first. Okay, now we're on board with George Vidal, and he's in first place at this point. And Jimmy Cabrera is going to get into him right there, just a little tap. And Andreas is looking for a pass here, and he gets it done. So George Vidal falls to third at this point. Okay, now we're on board with Joa Antonio. And we're almost 12 minutes into the race here. And you can see Jared Glatzer is going to get loose and he's going to come swerve back and tap Joa out. Okay, looking at that again, we're on board with uh, Jared Glatzer here. And yeah, once your car starts spinning like that and getting out of control, it's almost like you're at the mercy of whatever it's going to do. So unfortunately, though, he tapped into Joa and took him out. OK, 
Okay, now we're on board with Will Dawson. And we're 15 minutes into the race. And him and Rick Hyde are going to come together here. Looking at it again, we're on board with Rick Hyde here. He gets a tap from uh, Will Dawson and slams into that wall. And his car is pretty much done at this point. So he quit out. Okay, now we're on board with Dan Klar. Again, nice paint job. And he's going to struggle on this corner here. That's going to cost him... Uh, two spots. He drops from 11th to 13th here. Okay, we're on board with Marcio Gamerez. I'm not sure I'm saying that name right. Gamerez, Marcio. Anyway, we are about halfway through the race at this point. And he's just going to blow that corner. And that's going to cost him a few positions. He was running in fifth and he drops to eighth and you can see Heiko Sherman working his way back up remember he was in, involved in that uh, first corner collision and was knocked from first place back to last okay now we're on board with George Vidal and he's gonna take a pit stop we're 32 minutes into the race that drops him from fourth when he comes out of the pit he'll be in ninth I think most people did not take a pit stop during this race because it wasn't required. Okay, so now we're on board with me, Dave Blair, and I'm gonna struggle on this corner also. Just came in here too hot. I did the same thing in Thursday night's race. So two nights in a row, same corner, same thing, big mistake. I was in ninth and I got dropped to 12th. Okay, now we're on board with Alan Ramsbottom and it's 53 minutes into the race at this point and he's gonna take that corner horribly and get spun and he's gonna drop from ninth to 12th. Okay, so now we're on board with Heiko Schurman and Andreas and Ricardo and Heiko here are all in a battle for second place. Uh, Jimmy Cabrera's way out in front at this point, and these three are going to battle for second place. And this is the last lap coming up right here. So I'm going to stay on Heiko, and we'll watch this battle. Again, this is the last lap of the race. Ricardo's going to spin out there. Now Heiko's in third. And there, Heiko just picked up second. Now, if you remember, Heiko was sitting on the pole position here and got taken out in the very first corner and knocked from first all the way back to last and took the rest of the hour of the race to work his way back up. And he's currently running in second here. That is really a remarkable job. Okay, just like always, I'm going to run down 10th to 1st, and because of all the chaos on the first lap, I don't have everybody's starting position. So, uh, finishing in 10th is Alan Ramsbottom. Finishing 9th is Nick Mucanos. Finishing 8th is Marcio Gamerez. Finishing 7th is George Vidal. Finishing 6th is Stan Donnett. Finishing fifth is Sean Sebron. Finishing fourth 
is Ricardo Mascarenas. Finishing third was Andreas Castaneda. Finishing second was Heiko Schurman. And finishing first was Jimmy Cabrera. So there's Jimmy Cabrera coming across the finish line. It was a rocky start, but it was a pretty good race all in all. Okay, here are your race results for the Friday night, week four, race two. And you had uh, first place was Jimmy Cabrera. Second place was Heiko Schurman. Third place was Andreas Castaneda. Fourth place was Ricardo Mascarenas. Fifth place was Sean Sebrin. Sixth place was Stan Donnett. Seventh place was George Vidal. Eighth place was Marcio Gamerez. Ninth place was Nick Mucanos. And tenth was Alan Ramsbottom. Okay, here are the standings after week four, race two, with Heiko Schurman now in first, Ricardo Mascarenas in second, Stan Donnett in third, fourth is Joa Antonio, fifth is Andreas Castaneda, sixth is Luke Sky, seventh is Dave Blair, eighth is Doug Hawley, ninth is Sean Sebrin, and tenth is Sean Cole. <laughs>